General overview, my truck is not leaning left or right, which will indicate a suspension problem or a flat tire. My clearance trailer lights clean, no crack operation. My cab market light, too light over there. It's clean, no crack operation. My cab ID light, my tree light over in the middle. Is operational indicate the trailers or the truck is 80 inch or wider. My windshield secure with the value expression sticker. My hood no damage. My grill no debris. My headlight both low beam working. My left directional light working. My right running light working. I got my bumper secure, no damage. My license plate secure with the valid registration sticker. Under my trailer, there's no new wires or drapes or bubbles. I'm going to open my trailer or my hood of my truck. So this is how you can open your hood. You see this lock here? Pull it like this and it's open. Let's do the other side. And I'm here on the other side. This is lock. It's open, right? So I'm gonna pull out my hood. So I'm going to begin with the right side of my tractor. My wash of fuel. This way I put it. If it pop a lever, I will check it inside. My horses, no cut or bubble. My wires, there's no broken or exposed wires. I got my antenero right here, as you can see. Secure no damage. My belt, secure no fright or drywood. My frame. This is my frame here. Secure no crack or legal wall. My shock. Secure no crack, bend or linking. My spring mounting. Secure no missing hardware. My spring. Secure no missing or misline. My u bolt Secure no crack or loose. This is my brake chamber. My, sorry, my brake hoses. Secure no cut or bubbles. This is the brake chamber. No dented. This is like adjusts. Secure no more than one inch play when we pull by hand. I'm gonna show you how to pull it by hand. This is how we pull it by hand. No more than one inch play. I got my brake drum inside. Secure no crack or legal word. My brake shoes, learning at least one quarter inch thick, no debris. My wheel, in and outside of my both wheel, secure no crack or legal wheel. My tire, the side wall of my tire, secure no crack, dry wood or bulges. The top of my tire, even where 432 tread depth, it cannot be recapped. My lug nut, secure, no missing, no sign of being loose and decayed by bleeding rice or shining mirror. My hub seal, in and outside of my hub seal, secure, no linking. My valve, my valve stem, metal valve stem with a metal cap. So I finish my right side of my tractor and I'm going to my left side. So I'm going to begin with my, le my left side. But my coolant reservoir. Secure not quite dense or linking in proper level as we can see. We say a proper level because we don't want it to be over or less. So we gotta make sure that it's proper level. 
I got hoses. All my hoses. No cut or bubbles. Wires. No broken or exposed. This is wires. No broken or exposed wires. With my water pump. No cry dent or linking. Got the got water inside. My power steering. No cry dent or linking. And proper level, as you can see, the proper level. Horses and swing box are also secure, no dent or linking. Well, my compressor governor is built inside here. Secure, no broken. The no broken line on my compressor governor. And my compressor is gear driving. And I got my steering component. With my steering component, I'm going to name all the parts of my steering component. Here I got my steering shaft, my U joint, my pitting arm, my drag link, my steering arm, and my tri dot. This one right here. They are all properly secure with casting nut, casting nut, secured casting nut, and quarter pin. I'm going to be slow so you can understand and hear me and practice more so you can do it. And then I, I, I got to repeat again for the same thing I've done on my right side. I got to do it on, on my, my left side right here. I got frame. Secure, no crack or illegal word. Shock. Secure, no bend, crack or linking. Spring mountain. Secure. No missing hardware. Spring secure, no missing or misline. U boat secure, no crack or loose. Brake hoses secure, no cut or bubble. Brake chamber no dented. Slack adjusters secure, no more than one inch play on the pull by hand. Brake drum secure, no crack or legal wall. Brake shoes no debris, landing at least one quarter inch thick. Wheel in, in outside and inside of my wheel secure, no crack or legal wall. Tire. My side wall secure no crack or bulges or damage. The top of my tire even were 432 tread depth and cannot be recapped. My lug nut secure no missing, no sign of being loose indicated by bleeding rush or shining mirror. My hub seal in and outside of my hub seal secure no linking. My valve stem I got metal valve stem with metal cap. And this is where I put my oil. Don't forget it. This is where you put oil. This is where you check it. So I complete my left side and I'm going to close my hood. So I will start with my left side. My mirror broke it. Secure no damage. My step. Secure no damage. My barrel box. My barrel inside here is secure. If you like, I will open my barrel box to expect that there is no corrosion or fried wires or broken wires. My door, I open the door, secure. There is no play in the hinge of my door. My grand handle, these are my grand handle. Right here, secure. I close the door, it's properly secure. My DEF, we don't really have to mention that, but I heard you, you should mention that it's not a problem, not a big deal. If you're gonna mention DEF, you will say secure no credit dental linking. My fuel tank, before stopping the front tank, we take with the, the step. My step secure, no damage, no dented. My fuel tank secure, no credit dented or linking. Secure with two metal swipe. And rubber gasket. If you like, I will open it, the fuel tank cap to spread the rubber seal and the safety, the safety chain inside. My car work. This is my car work. Secure no damage. I got my drive shaft. I'm gonna show you. This is the drive shaft. Secure. No bent or twisted. I will physically expect that there is no play on the U-joint. 
I go to my electrical line. Secure. No broken line or damage. My grey handle is not hanging on the car work. I will open my grey handle to spread that on the rubber seat there's no debris or water inside. I can open and see. This is my rubber seal. As you can see, there's no water or debris inside. And I'm going to close it. Always remember 90 degrees when you want to close it. This emergency, hair electrical line and service. So a different color. Blue, green, blue, green and red. Okay, so I'm here. My apron. This is my apron. Secure. No dending. My fifth wheel. This is my fifth wheel. There's no space between my fifth wheel and the apron. The release numb is all the way in. In the lock position. My mounting board. They are secured to the platform. This is my mounting board, secured to the platform. And there's no damage to the platform. My frame, secure. No crack or legal wood. My spring mountain, secure, no missing. My spring wall here, secure, no missing or misaligned. I got... <sighs> okay, let me... Now we're starting here. My slack adjusters secure, no more than one inch. Play on pull by hand with the brake release and the wheel shock. My U bolt, as you can see, my U bolt secure, no crack or loose. I'm trying to go inside here to finish inside and come back. My locking jaw. My locking jaw is locked around the shank of the kingpin. My hair bag. Secure, no crack or linking and fully inflated. My left directional light working, my right running light working. My license plate light, as you can see, is working. And my license plate is secure with valid. Expression stick and valid recession sticker. Right here, I got my tires. I will start with my brake drum. My brake drum secure. I got two brake drum of my two tires secure, no crack or illegal work. My brake shoes, no debris, landing at least one quarter inch thick. My mud flood, no more than six inch of the ground. My shock, this is my shock right here. Secure, no dent, crack or linking. My wheel, in and outside of my both wheel, are uh, secure, no crack or legal wall. My lug nut, secure, no missing, no sign of being loose in the cab of bleeding rush or stung mirror. This is extra seal. The other one is hub seal, this is XL seal. Secure in and outside of both, secure no linking. I got two valve stem, two metal valve stem with two metal cap. And then I got my tire. I wanted to finish this so I can do my tire. My bolt sidewall tire, secure no crack, bulges or dry water or damage. I got a three inch space between my tire. This space is three inch space. The top of my tire, even where 232 thread depth and the recap is allowed, I will check for thread separation. Is the thread separation. The top tire, I mean the front tire, they got four 32 thread depth. And the back tire, they are 232 thread depth. 
and recap is allowed. I will check for the twist separation, as I say. So I finish my tractor, and I want to start with my my trailer. So this is my trailer, hairboard, secure, no damage. My side trailer, secure with DOT, reflective tape all the way down to the side. I got my landing gear, secure, no damage. My sand pad, it's fully raised. My crank handle, secure to the lock position. I got my ribs, my ribs and floorboard. They are not missing, no dent, no damage, they are secure. My side market lights, clean, operational, indicate my trailer is 80 feet or longer. This light right here indicates that all trailer we got is 80 feet or long. Some trailer is 50 feet, some trailer is 40. So this trailer is, is, is 30. This trailer is 30 feet or longer. I repeat again. This will indicate the trailer is 30 feet or longer. My hair electrical line, they are all secure at least 18 inch of the ground as you can see here i got my landing tandem this is the landing tandem locking pin is fully extended this is the locking pin is fully extended and the release name is in lock position and I got my air suspension. My front bracket is secure, no dent or damage. My eyeball secure, no crack or damage. My shock, this is my shock. Secure, no crack, dent or linking. My hairbag, hyper and lower support, no rotted or damage. My airbag is fully raised or fully inflated, as you can see, it's fully inflated, and it's not crying or linking. Okay? My release numb is also secure. My control numb is secure. And I got I got high control valve also secure, no damage. Right here I got my brake chamber, no dented. I got my brake hoses, these brake hoses, no cut or bubbles. I got slug adjusters right, right here. This is slug adjusters. Secure no more than one inch play when you pull by hand with the brake release and the wheel shock. And we start over again. I got my I got my my brake drum. I already said the brake brake chamber, right? So I got my brake drum right here. Secure, no crack or legal well. Brake shoes, no debris, learning at least one quarter inch thick. Frame. This is the frame. Secure no crack or legal work. My tire, both side of my tire. No crack, bulges, or damage. The top of my tire even well. 232 thread depth. Recap is allowed. I will check for the thread separation. And always remember, three inch space between my tires. And my wheel, both we in and outside of my both we no crack or legal way. I got my lug now right here. Lug not secure, no missing, no sign of being loose, indicated by bleeding rice or shining, shining mirror. But my hub seal, we only have one access seal. The rest of them are hub seal. In and outside, secure, no linking. Two, 
valve stem to mirror valve stem and two mirror cap so when you finish this one here you will tell the expert that uh, I if you like I will do mostly for Rhode Island because other states they don't say it. but for Rhode Island you can say it. like if you like I will do the next tire I will expect the next tire the same as I did for this one so we do this one the same as you did for this one most of them they will say no it's fine you can go ahead you don't need to do it and then you come here you say my ABS light is on it will indicate the anti-lock brake problem my side market light crane or professional and my mud flat don't let's forget it secure no more than six inch of the ground now you came here to the back of my trailer I got three ID lights some trailer got two light which is the corner light and the three ID light three ID lights secure no crack and operational indicate indicate the trailer is 80 inch or wider I got my left directional light working my right running light working my DOT bumper no damage secure with the DOT reflective no more than it's 30 inch of the ground don't forget of for the trailer we got 30 feet or longer for DOT bumper it's no more than 30 inch of the ground with my DOT bumper there is a DOT bumper and with DOT reflective my overhead door no damage my, no damage the panel this is the panel door it's open tension over the door cable this is the lash the lash is secure with the safety lash over the top trailer suspension sticker secure and valid license plate secure with valid recession sticker and about the other light you will say this I will go inside of my cab to turn the high beam on which is the high beam light on and to put down my trolley valve to secure them with seat belt so that can activate my stop light and then get out of the truck and then go around the truck expect all the lights are working properly and secure so right here this is my right side and then i would say if you like i will do my right side the same as i did with my left side so at Rhode Island, most people they don't really let them do this so they may not say you have to you gotta do it or not but if you say yes so you got you're going to do the same thing as you did on the right the left side you're gonna do the same thing on the right side right here so which is the side mega light the mud flat the tires the same thing that you did on the left side the same thing i do on the right side but the only be a different which is i'm going to show you it's gonna be a different of exhaust This is the problem they will indicate by link mostly indicate by black suit if linking you indicate by black suit you will see here like they got some black black suit and for this fuel tank or battery or step whatever on my right side you don't have to say you really don't have to say already mentioned on the other side so as the same on this side you don't have to say so this is complete the pre trip expansion for Rhode Island yeah guys watch more and subscribe to my youtube channel for more video like also comment and share for other people especially those who live those who live in Rhode Island
those are on Rhode Island so if you do the same thing that I did it's going really to help you to pass your pre-trip inspection okay guys see